I ill like that look in your eyes. Tis queerly brazen for a pawn. Most of your kind have eyes blank as a cadaver's. Mayhap tis only natural seeing as how you rise from the dead. There's aught different about you, though. Could it be that you fear death just as we mortals do? Worry not, vessel. Three days here, and you'll be longing for death's sweet embrace. Come along, you feckless dullards. Do your injuries pain you? Pray, do not overexert yourself. This is no place for one of your ilk. Tis harsh beyond measure. Even we pawns are pushed to the brink. You ought not anger the overseer. Let us proceed to the site. I do not understand how it is they compel us. There is no arisen among the overseers. Time for you to get to work. You are prepared to work. Then you all begin by carrying stones out from the station in the back and bringing them here. As soon as my shift's done, I'm off to the tavern. <sighs> the vicinity is quite cluttered. Pray leap! Oh, or oh, oh, that post. Job well done. Now the next step is to... What is this commotion? Perhaps we ought to investigate. Fell that thing. 
end, even at the cost of your lives! Survive a fall from this height. Not even a pawn.
Keep your distance, or is it? Worry not for me. The brine may swallow me whole, but I will not perish. There is a stone not far from here, known as a rift stone. Pray, seek it out. If you're truly the Arisen, then our paths will surely cross again. Oi! Are you all right? What's happened here? A griffin appears one moment and falls the next, and now you stand before me. Was it you then? The one who was riding on its back? It is a wonder you survived. Accompany me to the stronghold. We'll treat your wounds and hear your story. Where exactly is this jail you say you escaped from, anyway? I've never heard of such a place. There's certainly naught like that here in Vermont. Could it be you were held in the neighboring country of Batal? Nay, I suppose that's unlikely. We've been estranged from Batal ever since the war. It is difficult to imagine any citizen of Vermont being sent there. Fine! Goblins! Let's take a... If you find your strength flat, you buy the curate or have a bit of green. When one of the fiends comes, best guard or dodge, they'll ship the sore on the morrow. Make use of the slope, it will give you an advantage against their ranks. Employ guarded attacks to get the enemy. Where are you going? I'll not force you to receive treatment, but Ida, there are odd items to be scavenged from the bodies of monsters and their ilk. If you're not sc Have you beheld the dragon as yet?
Where are you going? Welcome, Arisen. We pawns have long awaited your arrival. What is this? The pawns. They bend the knee to you so readily, but then... No. Surely you cannot be the Arisen. You seek the Riftstone, do you not? We can take you to it. Pray. Come this way. Before you stands a rift stone. Tis a gate by which we of the Pawn Legion may cross Ur into this world. Pray, summon your pawn. Simply paint with your mind's eye the loyal attendant whom you would have serve you. The people here are evacuated, and safe for the moment. Pawns are oft called nomads, for we wander between this world and the many other realms with which we are connected. I am no exception, and my experiences in these other worlds will doubtless be of aid to you on your adventure. Tis my privilege to accompany you as your loyal pawn, and I will gladly use the knowledge I gain to guide you. Well, I'll be a pawn summoning before my very eyes. You truly are the Arisen, then. Strange. I thought the Arisen was in the capital. Surely there's only meant to be one Arisen. Fine. This is all beyond my ken. The Watchhead would know what to do. I'm sure. Though, as luck would have it, he's away. 
I suppose we'll save any further questions till the Watchhead returns. You're free to do as you like afore then. What? You've no memories, you say? Mayhap you could make for Melv, then. It was set upon by the dragon not long ago. The Arisen is said to bear some deep connection to the dragon. Should you be Arisen, mayhap you'll recall aught of import there. Hail, Arisen. Pray, ask aught you wish to know. I shall answer, if tis within my power to do so. Very well. May fortune speed you on your way, Arisen. A treasure chest. Shall we see if we can't make our way over to it? I'd hasten home were this not my duty. This is quite a quandary. Hoi there. You seem well tired. Tell you what, you can stay here tonight free of charge. I'll expect coin from tomorrow, mind. My pa always used to say, there's naught a good night's sleep can't fix. Not much else I can offer, I'm afraid, but you'll find all sorts at a finer inn. Aye, being armed is better than being defenseless, even if you're untrained. Still, it is worth devoting yourself to a vocation if you can. Opens up new doors, it does. You should stop by the inn in Melv if you get the chance. No hard feelings if you prefer it. They've much more to offer. We must rest, though the sun is still up. I'll carefully conserve my strength and endeavor to survive every battle by way of sound strategy and defensive tactics. It will be an honor to serve by your side.
A visit to Meld might jog your memory, Master. It seems the village yet reels from the dragon's assault. Follow me. I will guide you to the location. A guide is most welcome. Heyo. You a soldier? It would be a surprise to see you arrive in one piece if not. Hordes of monsters have been plaguing this area of late, you see. We've had to start sending out new recruits to cull them. Is that so? Who went yonder? Lachlan. But I dare say he'll fare all right. Aye, I expect he will. Who was sent out that way, then? Ocado. To be honest, sir, I'm a little worried for him. What? Weren't harpies reported in that area? I can't handle those beasts on his own. This is the first I'm hearing of it. Fine. I want to go to his aid, but we can't just abandon our posts. Say, you seem stout of heart. Would you be willing to go in our stead? It isn't far, only a short ways out from the main gate. You've my thanks. And a card. Let us make haste, that no life may be lost on our account. Fine place to harvest some ingredients. Shall we see if there's ought to be found while we're here? There's no easy thing making a over here, if you please. We have found a material. I'm sure we'll find a purpose for it in due time. Very well. I shall lend you my aid. You do seem to be in need of it. Ah, oh, good. I see the Arisen's found someone to... No sense letting the enemy gain the upper hand. The early griffin gets the word. Is a glad thing we rested when we did. We must not let down our heart. Gotten something arisen? You're looking rather lost. Thank you. 
time I've caused them worry. But never mind that now. If you're offering your aid, I'll gladly take it. This is most convenient. Another destination we were bound for is not far from here. We shall have to decide which is the most pressing. We cannot do everything at once. This is Melv. The scars left by the dragon's assault are plain to see. Mayhap a walk through the streets would help jog your memory. When the Arisen appears, so too does the dragon. It is an immutable truth of this world. True enough. Yon path leads not to our destination. If you would prefer to explore, I shall guide you another time. There will be other opportunities to lead. For now, let us follow.
Can you hear me, sir? Sir, stay with me. Thank goodness. How are you feeling? This is the second time I've watched over you like this, isn't it? You do not remember? Then have you forgotten that you protected me from the dragon's flames? You withstood the fire in my stead and were well and truly charred. It was terrible. I had thought your life forfeit. I could not hear the beating of your heart. You hung on and by some miracle survived. Arisen, I'm afraid I don't understand your meaning. Does it have aught to do with why you were taken to the castle? They said twas so that your wounds could be treated, though I fear you have no memory of this either. Has he come for you? We are to part so soon then. Mayhap you will visit me again someday. Till then, take care. Everson. Ah, excellent. You must be the one. You match my soldier's description. The ruler of Vermont, currently convalescing in the capital, became arisen here in this very village. If you claim the same, then word must be borne to the capital. I dispatched a missive before coming here, though I doubt the matter can be settled without your presence. Would you be willing to accompany me to the capital? If you truly are arisen, you will be received with open arms. Oh, but forgive me. I scattered my soldiers in a bid to find you. I would not depart without them. We shall have to wait till they are reassembled. Come to think of it, Sir Leonard was asking after you as well. Mayhap now would be a good time to speak with him. Last ice. Shall we seek some answers? Say, do you think this one's really a risen? The way I hear it, about a dozen arisen had crawled out of the woodwork by the time the throne had set. What should I do? This might be worth a read. Let's have a look then. My head hurts just thinking about it. Mayhap this time I went looking for. Watch it's brilliant. That's what's pushed my ears away. Get me thought it's a before him. Could be different. I'm wondering if there's any. What am I to do? He really ought to have returned by now. May having more of these to hand ought serve us well in battle. Let us take care when and how we put them to use.
We are none of us alike in vocation. One should think we'll be able to counter whatever comes our way. Let us utilize our individual strengths wherever possible. Well, Matt, you're the one who saved Ulrika's life, aren't you? She told me all about it. It was a very brave thing you did. I'm in your debt. Ulrika's as good as my daughter. Here, consider this a small token of my gratitude. Now, tell me, are you registered with a guild? Perhaps you already know this, but registering with a guild will grant you access to specialized training, which comes in very useful when pursuing a vacation. Well, now, that won't do. You need only speak with the innkeeper to register. Go on, it will only take a moment. If there is aught you wish to know of vacations, mayhap I can advise you. Naturally, it is a vocation for those who seek to master the bow, an exceptionally useful long-ranged weapon. At close range, however, a bow is nary more useful than a walking stick. Aye, the secret to being a successful archer is maintaining distance between you and your foes. Should you dedicate yourself to a vocation, you will find that new paths to master will open up to you over time. Try them as you like. Very well. There is no wrong choice in any case. It is entirely up to you which vocation you adopt. But I shan't take up any more of your time. Pray be well. There's a ladder here. We ought to put it to good use. Here at the inn, we also offer changes of vocation for those who seek it. I get so few customers, you see, that I can manage both roles myself. But enough about me. Did you need something? Do come again. <laughs> 